Hello, welcome to the tutorial for uh, Apache Tomcat server installation in Linux. This is a basic tutorial uh, where I'll be showing how to download Apache Tomcat server and uh, installing in a Linux machine. And uh, also I'll be showing how to start and stop Apache Tomcat server and some other basic uh, port configuration. So Apache Tomcat server is a Java web application server where you can deploy your uh, Java application and uh, run the server so that you get a web client and you can access your service level application through this uh, particular server. So uh, I'll just now you can take this uh, particular web page you can just go into the Apache uh, search google apache and then you will able to get into this website and uh, from here you will be a, you have a link to download tomcat version 8 so once you click that you will have various options so zip will be a good option to download your apache tomcat server so once you download this particular package you will be able to get specific package like this this is your apache zip file which you have downloaded so now we get into how to install it's very easy how to install apache and uh, run apache in your linux server so first thing you have to do is that uh, you have to un unzip this particular file unzip apache okay it's unzipped once it's unzipped uh, the next thing that you have to do is that uh, you have to change the operation mode mode of operation for uh, making it executable like I have to go inside the apache you can see bin folder is there so none of the, them are in executable format so there is only read write permission for this user we want the executable files files to be executable in executable format so how do you do is that come back to the top yeah. from here ch mode from R seven six okay so now you go inside your specified folder and just check it out I'm going inside Apache In. Yep. everything is executable uh, you don't even need triple seven six double seven six uh, you can use it to it's better you can have seven double five it will be better change it mode ch mode iPhone R755 Apache that would be better CD pin yeah there you go is better so what it does is that for this particular user I have when I give given the mode of operation as 755 the first number 7 indicates that this particular user have uh, privilege up to uh, executing the file so once this is done I'll be able to start the Apache server uh, one, one more thing to notice is that uh, your Java path has to be set so that has to be taken care 
so let us see whether my java path is set for this particular nx server so i'll do echo dollar java underscore o so at present my in my server java path is set so i don't have to do anything much on that so let's go and start the apache tomcat server so dot slash bin slash catalina dot sh space st art so there you go uh, we got a message saying that tomcat is started we'll just check it out whether the server is running yes we are able to see uh, apache tomcat server running now next thing is to do is that i'll show how to change the port for where the application server is running at present by default it's running at 8080 suppose like if you want to change it to some other port how to do it so i'll give you a simple command uh, in netstat iphone tlb so this gives in the server how many ports which has been used and what are has uh, it has it is being using so here you can see where is my 8080 will not show you have to be in root for all okay I have to be in root to see all the other processes pn okay let me start time yeah this is the command <laughs> okay i missed out n so once you give this command i'll be able to see which are all my ports i'm using currently so here you can see uh, my 8080 port has been used and been been used by some process this is the process id for that particular java uh, application so i'll just check this ef okay. down so here you can see my process 498 it's matching the process here 498 which which is the apache tomcat server running so I will show you how to run this application in a different port. So for that we need to stop the server first. Catalina.sh please stop. So I have stopped the server. Now the next thing is to do is that we have to edit a particular file that's inside corner server.xml coming here this is the particular file here you can see the connection port instead of 8080 I'll just change it to some other port 8181 and save it so once I save it I'll be able to start the application in the different port so now you can refresh this page you will not be able to get the server now I am going to change the port 8181 yep now I am getting the Apache server and also use the netstat command python tul pn here you can see now the process is running at this port so this is the whole tutorial about uh, i have shown you 
where you can download the Apache and then checking the Java variables before installing and then simple steps of installing like unzipping and changing some of the operation mode and then how to start and stop Tomcat server uh, and the final thing is uh, about how to how to change the port where uh, the application is installed so hope you like uh, this tutorial and see you later bye